We're back on STL TV Live, and I'm now joined by Terry O'Neill from Historic Florissant, Inc. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And so this is the season. We haven't even hit Thanksgiving yet, but all the Christmas stuff starts up around this time of year. And Historic Florissant, Inc. has a very special Christmas event coming up this month, actually. Tell me about it. Yes, we have this historic Christmas house tour. It is on November 30th from 2 to 6 p.m. Uh, we'll be featuring eight different properties on the tour. They'll each be able to go through each of the homeowners' homes and see how the homes are decorated for the holidays. It's kind of our way to kick off the holiday season in Florissant. Yeah, the his, it, Florissant has a historic district. I, know, I don't know if a lot of people are aware of that or have gone by it. And so these are the homes that are registered. Are they officially registered as historic homes? Is that correct? Some are historic landmarks. Some are not. Okay. However, mm -hmm. a lot of the homes are still made to look like the original structures and a lot of the people have done a lot of work to keep them very original. Oh yeah, no absolutely. We've got some photos and let's maybe walk through it and you can, to your knowledge at least, tell me sure. about some of the homes that people can see. So we'll take a look at some of those because okay. how many homes, so this is one of them, how many did you say total? We have eight properties on the tour in total. Eight total. So which this actually looks like it's been very well restored. This house is very well preserved. It's a Peter's home and is located on St. Francis Street. It actually used to be a banker's home mm. in, his, in Florissant, and these people have done a lot of restoration to it over the years. The house is beautifully decorated inside, and they usually offer some type of treat on the tour. Okay, all right, that's really nice. That's one of the homes. Let's take a look at the next one. This home used to be the home of the wooden shoemaker, and all of the roads in Florissant were dirt and mud streets. So the only way you could get around Florissant was to use these wooden shoes. And he was the man that produced the shoes for most of the people really? on the floor. So. And so when, roughly, do you know when this house was built? I believe this is in the late 1800s. In the late 1800s. Okay. It's, again, beautiful. I mean, it's really interesting to see how it's been, it's been preserved. What about this one? This home is the Montine home. And the story behind it, or the fable, we're not sure which way it goes, is it was originally a one-structure home. And the man happened to hit it big in a poker game. So he added on the top story to the home when he hit it rich and made the home bigger and a little more prominent. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't been on our tour in years. He also has a beautiful barn that is a man cave next to it. <laughs> is the man cave decorated for yes, Christmas? It is. Is it? Yes, All it right. is. <laughs> All right. Do we have, let's see, I think we've got another one. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, this is actually the Gittemeyer House, which is our office space. And it is where we are selling the tickets, one of the four locations. And that is one of the locations that's decorated yes. as well. Got it. Yes. And where your, where your office is. Yes. Saying. All right. That's an original picture of the Gittemeyer House okay. back in the Back early. when it was originally Correct. built. Yeah. It's interesting Correct. how the property around it changes so much. And then do we have any more? Is that, that might be it? I think that's it. So yeah, so this is, so how long has this tour been going on? I mean, because the, clearly the buildings, the structures have been here way before both of us. So how long has the tour been taking place? Well, Historic Florissant's been in operation since 1969, and they've been hosting the tours most of the years that they have been an organization. Okay, so it's been around since, since essentially the beginning. And are they close together to walk, or do you actually have to drive from... Some of the houses house. are close enough to walk, but a few of them you will have to drive, especially if it's cold. Or okay, okay. So they're spread out, but all in the same... But in a very close roughly. radius. And when we refer to historic Florissant, what area are we actually talking about? Because Florissant now is, I mean, as municipality, is quite large. Right. It's a six-by-six six radius, six-block radius, and it features homes that are anything from French, colonial, German... Uh, we have a lot of different architectures in Florissant, but it is mostly a six-by-six six radius. A six by, okay, so that's not, that's not too bad. Well, there's the f website for you, historicflorissant.com. Again, this is their Christmas house tour that's taking place this year. It's been going on for close to 50 years, as Terry pointed out. We've got the information there for you on the screen coming up. It's taking place Sunday, November 30th uh, from 2 to 6 o'clock. Yes. And is there anything else that you want to add about it? about the tour? Just head on out? Head on out. Come <laughs> visit us. A lot of the shops will be open. Okay. There are a few op having open houses at the same time that we'll be having the tour. Okay. All right. Well, we're not going to, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Terry's going to tell us more about Historic Floors and Inc., why it was founded, when it was founded, and some other of their initiatives and their missions. So stay with us right after this break.